Hey, this is Yan Huang here. Today, I'm going to show you how to restore your website along with the database every single hour or whatever time interval that you want. And this is great if you want to showcase maybe a live demo for a PHP script or software. I've spent hours trying to uh, figure this out and there weren't any really any resources that outlined step by step of how to set it up so that way every hour or whatever time interval the um, uh, your website as well as your MySQL database will get restored. And this is really nice especially if you're trying to set up some kind of a demo, uh, live demo for um, a PHP script or software where you want your uh, maybe the prospective buyers to be able to play around with the software but you don't want it to be left a mess. Uh, so every hour basically it'll reset or whatever time that you choose could be 30 minutes could be every every day every four hours whatever you want so first things first um, we will uh, let me just show you basically what I've done so I have this live demo here um, and basically this resets every single um, hour and so people can just go in here just play around with it do whatever they want upload anything uh, here um, and uh, just really have full flexibility to really play around the software and to really understand software which is great um, your uh, prospective buyers uh, of software really really appreciate that uh, I know I do whenever I'm shopping for software which I do a lot I always try to look for a demo whenever it's available and when it's not sometimes I don't want to move forward especially if it's an expensive piece of software because I don't know exactly what I'm getting myself into. So what we uh, have here is this is basically your foundation. You want to make sure um, that this file when you upload it don't have it in your public HTML uh, folder and I'll uh, explain why in a second. So uh, and before we go into, into uh, this tutorial um, you should have a VPS or a dedicated server if you have shared hosting, there might be a high chance that this is restricted. Uh, so uh, just uh, keep that in mind. So uh, the first line is this line basically will help restore your database. It will reset all of the uh, uh, data pertaining to your uh, uh, to your PHP uh, script or software. Uh, this line here basically this will remove the current public HTML folder. This line here will uh, basically copy your um, your deployment that you want it to be replaced with into the public HTML folder. Uh, this is basically uh, the foundation of how to get this set up. Also I've included this little piece of code here where you can uncomment it and just swap it out with your website uh, domain and your email address and swap the and, and you can change the message or whatever. And what this will do is every single time the cron job runs, you'll be able to to know when it runs, so you can you'll be better positioned to troubleshoot it. And I'll include the uh, uh, the code here on the YouTube video uh, below in the description, so that way you can just copy and paste and change a few things around. Um, before we get uh, started with all of this, what you want to do is let me go ahead and log into. Uh, to cPanel here and if you don't use cPanel uh, it's fine you can use Plesk or whichever platform uh, you'll just have to uh, figure out where the cron jobs are located um, so let me go ahead and log in here So what you want to do first is you want to go to uh, open up PHP my admin. Oops, I've logged on to the wrong site. Let me go ahead and log out here. Okay. So you want to go into PHP my admin and you want to locate the uh, the database 
for your script. So in this case, here's the database, and you want to export and uh, export as SQL. Just click on Go, and then uh, once you have it downloaded, you can uh, you know rename this file or just keep it uh, with how it's named. And in here, uh, this is basically um, change the name to that file. And you also want to swap out these variables, your username, password, and database name. Um, with the password, uh, there make sure do not include a space. If you do that, it will not work. So your password has to follow immediately after the uh, uh, password flag here uh, without any spaces. And next, what you want to do is uh, open your uh, PHP software, or sorry, FTP software, and you want to create a folder outside of your public HTML folder. And the reason is because once the cron drop runs, your public HTML folder is going to get wiped out. So you want to make sure that this folder you create outside of public HTML. And you want to upload your SQL file here. And also to create a cron.php, you can just take uh, the code here uh, to uh, and just uh, upload it. And uh, next, what you want to do is is you want to replicate your public HTML folder. I recommend doing it twice. Uh, first, replicate it to maybe like public HTML two, and another one maybe demo public HTML. The reason why you want to have a secondary uh, copy is in case that something funky happens and you wipe this out and uh, and this gets corrupt for whatever reason so you always just want to have another backup um, and you can name this whatever you want then go back into here and change this to your current public HTML folder the absolute path not a relative path but the absolute path and then over here change this to the absolute path of your of the uh, of the of your copy of the public HTML folder and then this is going to be the uh, your public HTML folder the absolute path so once you've done this you've uh, basically set up the the foundation uh, to replace your MySQL database and also to uh, to wipe out your public HTML folder and to replace it with a copy uh, which uh, would be the the version that you want it to reset to. So next what we want to do is in cPanel or whichever web hosting control panel you're using go to cron jobs and you want to set a, uh, a cron job uh, here Actually, I have it set every 30 minutes, not every hour. Uh, I need to, to uh, change that. But what you want to actually do is, um, is for debugging purposes, click once every minute. Because you don't want it, to, because when you're uh, testing it out, you want to be sure that it's working uh, without wait, waiting uh, too long. And in, in the command, type in php-q. And then the absolute path, uh, in this case, it would be that to your uh, cron.php, which absolutely needs to be located outside of your public HTML directory. So once you've uh, added that, then every minute you'll receive an email uh, from this, and and every time this email gets sent to your inbox, your website will reset. Now to really truly test this out, what I recommend is go to the public HTML folder, maybe change your rename your index.php uh, file and rename it to something else. So that way, when you navigate to your uh, demo site in the web browser, um, you see maybe a corrupted file or just you know the listing of your directory. And then what I will also do is go to uh, PageMy Admin. Click into the demo uh, or into your uh, database, scroll down, check all, and drop all these tables. And so your website will be corrupt. Now just wait uh, until the next time your cron job runs, which should be in another minute. 
uh, and um, and your website will be uh, fully restored with the database files and everything. It will uh, be fully reset. Uh, and after you get that working properly, then you can go back into the cron job, click on edit, and then change the duration to whatever duration that you want um, instead of every minute. Because if you have it every minute, it's going to be very intensive on your server. So uh, I only recommend leaving at every minute. Um, and also it's going to be frustrating for whoever's trying to uh, test out the live demo of your software. So I recommend having it set either every 30 minutes, every hour, every maybe two hours, four hours, uh, but probably no, you know, or, or twice a day. But um, I would probably not exceed that uh, time frame just because uh, that's kind of too much time for somebody to go in and kind of screw up your data. So that in a nutshell is, is it. It's fairly straightforward. And of course, you want to uncomment or comment this back out. So that way, um, you don't receive a bunch of uh, annoying emails uh, saying that the cron job um, is... Uh, uh, so hopefully you found this tutorial helpful, and if you're launching a new software or script or uh, app, feel free to uh, post the live demo link below. i like to check it out, and I'm sure other people would as well. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post uh, below. Um, I'll also include the code uh, for this in the description uh, beneath this video. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Feel free to check out some of my other YouTube videos. I have tons of videos on digital marketing, um, including Google AdWords, SEO, and email marketing. Uh, other than that, best of luck with your uh, software or script.